Hello everyone, my name's Adam and this is my Prusa replica Mark 2.5. My Mark II West replica build was all well and good, but it never really produced the kind of quality that you would expect from a Prusa machine. So I took it one step further, and now it's finally finished. A massive thank you to everyone who left comments on the last video, providing suggestions on how I can fix my very nearly finished machine. And an even bigger thank you to Greg, the designer of the Bear Upgrade, for not only designing the Bear Upgrade, but helping me identify the very final issues on the machine and getting me to this final stage. And my goodness, does it print well too. But before we take a look at the prints, let me tell you a little bit about how we got to this point. So this whole project started with trying to replicate the Mark IIs without contacting Prusa in any way. I was just trying to use all of the open source information to rebuild the printer in as much detail as I possibly could. I then moved on to just upgrading the frame and now another step further adding the Mark III features to make a Mark 2.5. If you've been watching along in the series, then you'll know that I've had many, many problems along the way. None of them that big, but just little things after little things that have caused lots and lots of problems. For example, I wanted to make sure that I could use the original stock firmware from Prusa Research, and that constrained me quite a lot, because if I wanted to modify something by just changing the, like, the number of teeth on the pulley, that would require modifying the firmware, so in the spirit of the project, I couldn't do that. And that's why this series has taken quite as long as it has. I'd encourage you to go and watch it, I think it's quite an interesting series. Even more so if you're looking at getting into modifying your printer, just to give you an idea of some of the things that can, and maybe will, go wrong. However, there was one aspect that did go very well, and that was all of the parts relating to the bare upgrade. On this printer, the parts that I've upgraded with the bare parts is the whole x-axis and extruder. For someone not very familiar with the Prusa design, or having not taken apart an entire extruder before, you might not really notice very much difference from one to the next. However, if you've done some CAD and design work before, then there's a lot to appreciate in this design. There's a lot that it does very well, and a lot that makes the user experience much easier, simpler, and better for maintenance. So at the end of the last episode, nothing was really working. How did I finally finish the machine? What was wrong and how did I fix it? Well, fortunately it turns out the solution was really very simple. I had mistakenly flashed the Mark 2.5S firmware, thinking that if you move from Mark 2S up to Mark 3 features, that becomes a Mark 2.5S. However, that is wrong. The Mark 2.5S is when you use the very newest Mark 3S features. So essentially all it came down to was a little bit of confusion in firmware configuration. I'd flashed the wrong firmware, so it was looking for slightly different parameters, and it didn't find them, therefore it didn't work. As I just mentioned, I did also do the bare upgrade. I had already got the X ends, so I just added the extruder parts to complete the full X axis bare upgrade. And that, as they say, is that. A few months work, a few problems here and there, but now I think there's only one thing left to do. Let's take a look at the print quality. This first model is the bust of Nefertiti by Scan the World. Scan the World is an initiative that is creating a digital archive of sculptures, landmarks and monuments from around the world. This model was printed in Prusament's Silver PLA. Next we have the Spiral Vase by Big Bad Bison on Thingiverse. This model was printed out of Prusa PLA Azure Blue. This is the Smiling Owl by BS3 on Thingiverse. This model was printed out of Prusa Silver PLA. This Gear Agnesson Cat at the British Museum is another model from Scan the World. Printed in Prusament Silver PLA. 
And then last, but certainly not least, Joseph Prusher's very own pug. Buddy unfortunately passed away in April 2019. Here he's brought to us in three beautiful Prusherman colours, galaxy purple, azure blue, and mystic brown. And with that, we've come to the end of the video and the end of my journey replicating a Prusa i3 Mark 2.5. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.